Uh, Sweet Pie Pets here, and I have with me a little boy who is very cold, okay? See how cold he is? He's so cold that he shivers sometimes, especially like if it's cold outside. So I need to get him a sweater. So I went and I ordered him like a whole bunch of sweaters. I got the smallest sweaters that I could possibly find. I've got extra smalls. And now we're gonna try them on and we're gonna see if he stops shivering and if he gets warm, okay? As you can see, he's very nervous. Not really, but he might be cold, okay? So the first one that I got was um, this adorable police, canine unit you know because he's really he's a police dog or, or like maybe he wants to be one and so he's allowed to want that and he's allowed to have dreams okay so I just got him this shirt so he can test being a canine unit and see if he likes to be a police dog so let's try okay so okay little peanut I've been calling him peanut but I'm not sure if that's what I should name him in fact if you guys want to help me come up with a good name for him you can put it in the comments section below that'd be awesome Okay, so Peanut is a police canine officer now, um, but I think he's just gonna walk out of his outfit, so probably that's not gonna work. Peanut. Okay, how about I bark at ugly people? Okay, maybe he wants to be like pretty or something and he wants to bark at ugly people. So we're gonna see if this new identity is gonna work for him, okay? Peanut, do you bark at ugly people? Are you a barker? Are you cold? Are you scared? Okay, Peanut, put your shirt on. I'm gonna see if you bark at ugly people when you wear this. Um, Peanut, your shirt doesn't fit you. Peanut is um, a teacup. He is a puppy still. And he weighs exactly 17 ounces right now. He's seven and a half weeks. And at 17 ounces, it, you just can't find anything that fits them in, in the pet stores. Now, when he grows up, he'll be about three pounds maybe. And then I'm sure he might be able to fit into the extra smalls. But what am I supposed to do in the meantime? He's freezing. Hello. Pina, you're freezing. What's up, baby? You're freezing. Just freezing, baby. I have to find some sweaters. Okay, next we have this plain red one. I'm not even gonna try, cause like it's bigger than canine and I bark at ugly people. So that doesn't work, okay? I have tons of other, look at how cute. I mean, if he were a girl, he could wear a jean jacket. Uh-uh, that's gonna fall off. Okay, he could wear bling bling. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this little cute tutu in some of my videos that's been ripped to shreds because they think it's funny and they like to shred it. This is a cute one, but yeah, um, Peanut, you're not gonna fit in that one. I'm sure that's definitely too big, plus you're a boy. So what are we gonna do? He needs a sweater. All right, so what I did was I went to a sock store. In Solvain, I found this sock store that had like every kind of sock you could possibly ma imagine. And I'm sure they have those sock stores anywhere else where you could probably order them online. But they have all these awesome like knee-high socks. See how much material there is in this that I could get sweaters out of? I could probably make like three sweaters out of this one sock right here, okay? Now, there's different things you can do. You can use the top of the sock as sort of the collar for the dog. You don't have to do that. If I had already used this section, which this is a cute one because it has a little design on it, so it would just be to right there. I can make a sock and this would be on the puppy's back, but then this section here wouldn't have a design and it would have two cuts but I can show you how you hem the both ends and especially on a girl, it actually ends up looking really frilly and it's really cute to have two ends like that. For a boy, I prefer to have this collar be the end, you know, the top of their shirt. There's all different kinds of socks. Um, this one is cute. You can have this at Christmas time and I've made one out of this and one with green like this and it's a big, you know, like a fur collar around them. Of course, the puppy doesn't necessarily like to wear it, but it's fun to watch. Um, this one here is, could be used for a girl or a boy since it has um, pink and brown and orange. This is actually, I found this at Target uh, years ago, I think, and it's actually a baby's leg warmer. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and so I thought that was perfect because I have two ends that I can make the collars out of and I can just cut it in half and make this be the ruffle at the back side of it. 
But since he's a boy, I have to have a boy sock, okay? So I am just gonna make an awesome little sweater out of this lovely brown sock. It might look black in the video because of the lighting, but it's actually like a dark brown. And I'm like, hey, he's gonna be so handsome in his little brown suit sweater. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sock and I'm basically gonna cut it to approximately what the size I want. So this is the collar and the puppy, you know, he's probably about like that long, maybe. Now, when I go to hem it, it does take up some of the extra material. So I'm gonna cut it kind of as long as I can right before the heel of the sock, okay? And I wanna make sure that I cut it straight across. So I'm just gonna cut it straight across. Okay, and then at the end, that's not even, oh, oh my gosh, to cut it even. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just zigzag around that. That's all I'm gonna do, and when I zigzag around that hem it makes it so that the material won't unravel and it actually kind of makes it look a little bit frilly because I zigzag it like three times in, in a row and it kind of I'll show you it's really cute okay so now that that bottom part of the socks cut off the other thing I want to do is I want to cut two leg holes now this is the most challenging part of making these sock sweaters because the leg holes have a tendency to get way too large so you actually have to cut them I try to think of it about a dime size so I just start where I want the first leg hole. You wanna make sure it's not too close to the collar because inevitably as I hem it, the hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And if you have it too close, it's gonna go all the way up to the collar. Okay, so I'm just gonna figure where do I want the first leg hole? I want it about right here. I'm gonna just pull that out with my fingers. And I'm just gonna cut a tiny hole right there for the first leg hole. Looks perfect. Okay, the second leg hole, I want it to be, you know, imagining where his legs are so I'm going to put it approximately leg distance apart and try to cut the hole about the same size okay so now we have two leg holes and where his hind end is going to come out and all we have to do now is just zigzag all of those that's it so all we're going to do is we're going to zigzag so we're just going to I like to put this on actually the first time around I like to put it on four so it's sort of a loose um, I don't even know what it's called, a loose seam I guess is what it's called. And then as I go around it a couple times then I might turn it to five so it's a little bit of a tighter seam. Okay, so obviously I'm not a professional seamstress. I bought this uh, sewing machine for $99 and it was awesome. Okay. All I'm doing is sewing along the bottom edge of the little shirt that I trimmed off. That's it. Just zigzagging around it. And as I go, I pull it because the more that you pull it, the more it stretches and it turns into a little bit of a frilly looking thing. I won't do it too much on a boy's because I don't want to be too frilly, so I won't pull it very much. Now to stop the seam, um, you of course go in reverse a little bit, just to kind of tie the knot, and then I go ahead and tie it off by cutting way up here and tying this off. Now like I said, I am not an expert seamstress, but it's just what I do, so that's how it goes. Ta-da! And I cut this off. Now, you can see here, that the seam, just by just by zigzagging it, it kind of gave it this little bit of a frill, which on boys, I kind of don't pull it too much because I just want a little bit. On a girl, I'd pull it a lot and it would be even more frilly and it's really cute. So that's all we have to do and then we have to do the same zigzag pattern in the leg holes, which is a little bit more challenging because you have to get in like this. So I have to actually hold the sweater open it all the way underneath here and get just the edge and make sure that I'm not getting the back side of the sweater so that is a little bit challenging I am again gonna go down to a uh, looser I don't know what you call it seam hem whatever I have no idea
up. You can see how much bigger the leg hole is after you have put the zigzag around it. The leg hole, I think it's just because it kind of unravels as you're sewing around it, and so it ends up just getting bigger, but that's okay. That's why I cut the leg hole really small in the first place. Now this one will get closer over here, so that's the other trick I learned. You don't want to cut the, the leg holes too close, because one time I made one and it looked like it had a little G-string right there in between. That was kind of stupid. So I'm hoping this one, when I zigzag it, it will only go to about right there. We have the final product. Oh my goodness, look how adorable it is. I think it's gonna fit Peanut and he will not be cold anymore. Able to go up. Your tail goes up and your head goes up and you smile for the camera. Yes. I like your sweater. Okay, let's see you walk in your sweater. Boop. Hi, good boy. Hi. No, it's not too dark. Are you too dark? Sure. Well, come on. Is your sweater so hard to walk in? He's so handsome. Oh, look how handsome he is. Oh, look how it put your tail up. Put your tail up. 